The Eagles are about to go off this offseason. Ruben, when, when I think about uh, the contributions I can make to help this team, I know that um, when I'm doing my best um, and I have my best seasons, this team has a chance to have its best seasons. And so Yo, but do we kick things back here? Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you get in there. What if I was to tell you that not only is Nick Kotite, a.k.a. Nick Sirianni, on the hot seat this year, but also Howie Roseman. How would you feel about that? Because I think we may be getting to the point where that's really the case. Howie Roseman has been backed into a corner before, uh, and he is backed into one right now, and I think it's its own doing because of things that he said in the press conference makes me know, makes me know that this offseason is about to go crazy. Uh, he is about to go off because he's backed into a corner. He has to, okay? Now, before I get into it and explain my reasoning, uh, I just a quick announcement. I will be streaming both the AFC and the NFC Championship games tomorrow. So if you want to come hang out with me, that'll be fun. Who am I going to be rooting for? I'd like to see two new teams in the... Uh, in the Super Bowl. So Lions Ravens matchup, I, I could deal with at least you would get two teams that haven't been in there uh in a while, especially for Detroit. Like when was the last time they've been but um I wouldn't mind seeing that matchup. Um so if you want to hang out with me tomorrow, I'll be streaming the games, we'll be laughing at Mark Holmes as always, and it should be a lot of fun. Now, you may be saying to yourself, all right Philly, what dodo ding bat thing are you pushing today? And and listen this is just my opinion, and that's what I am. I'm not a media guy. I'm not a guy to, uh, you know, do media things. I am an opinionist. I am here to give you my opinion on the news, on what's going on with the Eagles, and all that. And it is my opinion that Howie Roseman is backed himself into a corner. Now, he has been backed into this corner before, uh, no question about it. But when he does get backed into it, what does he do? He comes out swinging. And I said this in my last video. I'm going to say this again. Howie Roseman is best. He's best when he's aggressive. Okay? When he's aggressive, the Eagles win. And it seems like the formula is like every other year. Yeah, you get the aggressive year. Then you get the not-so-aggressive year. And then you get the aggressive year. And then not-so-aggressive year. We are in an aggressive year right now. And the Eagles will have money under the cap. There will be some things and moves that they're going to make. But they'll have plenty of money. They're going to have a lot more money than they did a year ago. And I expected the Eagles to, I expect this team uh, to be very, very active within free agency. I expect some big name signings. And I expect it all, uh, to, to be quite honest with you, to me, anything less than an NFC Championship game appearance next year, to me, is, is a disaster. It's a disaster. I think that much. I know a lot of people say, well, they're 10-1, and 1, and they were never really that good and stuff. They were still 10-1, and 1, two games up. I'm not letting them off the hook, okay? And, yes, I'm very, very angry about how the season ended, just like everybody else. If it was up to me, I would have fired the coach. I would have cleaned house. I would have changed my whole defensive system. I would have made huge changes. But they didn't do it. They didn't do it. So we, we can bitch about all that. But the truth is, Nick Kotite is the coach, and uh, Vic Fangio is the defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator incoming, and Howie Roseman is the GM. So how do we get better from, from right where we are right now until this offseason? And that's going to depend on Howie Roseman, okay? And he knows it. Uh, the way I see it is this team can't keep, they can't keep firing coaches every three to four years. Every three to four years, you, you get rid of a coach, you get a new coach, because the coaches don't really like how the front office is, is run. They get worn out, and they go. That's basically what happens. At some point, Jeffrey Lurie is going to say, you know, I, I need a little more stability uh, within my coaching staff. I mean, he had how, uh, how long was um, Andy Reid, the head coach? He was like 13 years or something. Uh He's going to want that stability. He is going to want to, to, to not have to fire and hire coaches every three to four years. And it's largely going to depend 
on Howie Roseman. And how he knows it, and I expect this team to be super aggressive. I don't expect things like Hassan Reddick to go. I don't expect. I expect them to redo his contract. I expect them to make a huge splash in the free agent market. And I think you're going to see uh, a team that was very aggressive. You remember how aggressive they were leading up to 2017? Then they win the Super Bowl. Remember how aggressive they were leading into 2023 or 2022? I don't even know what the hell year it is. But into 2022, with that getting A.J. Brown and all the things that they did, they go to the Super Bowl. When Howie Roseman's very aggressive, this team wins. And I expect it. I mean, you could see it on his face. A lot of people are saying to me, yo, Philly, why, why do you think Howie Roseman's going to go after a linebacker after all this time of not having a linebacker? Why now? Why does he want a linebacker? I, I got to tell you, it was something that happened in the press conference. It was the way he answered a, a question, the way he looked when a question was being given. And I just said, no, nah, man, I, I can read people. I can read the room, all right? The room is this, you know, you, Mark Holmes' room, chickens will be sacrificed. Howie Roseman, uh, he responds to uh, criticism that only bothers him, that bothers him. That, that is is eating him up inside. Now look at this, right? He's, he's being asked a question, and then all of a sudden, you know, you can see him fidgeting, his, his eyebrows moving up like this. Look at him, look, look, he's uncomfortable. And then his response um, to the question tells me everything I know. Here's what he said. Uh, there's some preconceived notions that, you know, we're just um, at the linebacker position, you know, that we don't care who we play at linebacker, and... Again, you know, our two Super Bowl teams over the last six years, uh, linebacker play was good, you know, from those guys. And I think, if anything, um, it's my belief in the players that we have, the young players that we have. Um, I have a lot of belief, and I know Coach does as well, and Kobe Dean, you know. So you see, right, uh, what he said there? I know that people think that we don't value the linebacking position. That actually bothers him. That actually bothers him. And to me, that's a telltale sign. He's going to want to prove everybody wrong. Get ready for linebackers. Okay, I truly, truly believe that. They're coming. They're coming. Pause. All right, but seriously, I think, I think, I think that made him uncomfortable. And I think he didn't like that. Uh, he doesn't like that the Eagles supposedly don't value positions, even though it's true. <laughs> it's true. But he didn't like it. And what Howie Roseman loves to do more than anything else, he loves to prove everybody wrong. And when Howie Roseman gets backed into these corners where uh, responsibility really falls on him, he comes out swinging. So I expect a very, very aggressive offseason. Now, you may not like the way he drafts. You may not like you know certain guys he signs. All that, that that's yet to be determined. But... I expect this team to be super, super aggressive. And listen, they're already off to a good start. Uh, don't, don't forget, we got Isaiah Rodgers coming back. Uh, he was suspended last year. He is going to be a really, really big upgrade. All right. So the way I look at it, we've already upgraded our, our secondary. It's already upgraded. Not only that, but you have a guy who could also do returns if something happens to Covey. So this kid's going to be very, very valuable to us. Question is, is will that lead to the Eagles possibly trading Avante Maddox? I believe there's going to be some moves. I believe that some guys are going to get traded. Not A.J. Brown. I don't believe Hassan Reddick is going to go anywhere. If you got rid of Hassan Reddick, that would be the stupidest thing ever. All right, you might as well start rebuilding. He, he's your main pass rusher. That, you know, that, that kind of talk is, is insane to me. It's crazy. Um, he'll get his contract probably redone. He'll get an extension, and it'll create cap space for the Eagles. I think a guy like Bayard is probably going to go. That'll create cap space. The Eagles, the Eagles getting cap space is never a problem. They have money. They have ammo. And I expect Ty Roseman to, to go off. He has to. He has no choice. Because what's he going to do? Fire the coach and then hire another coach uh, who's a first-time coach? It, it, it's, it's a cycle you can only do so many times. So the Eagles, to me, it's put up or shut up. And I think that I think if, if, if everything goes bad, like some people are saying, I think not only Nick Sirianni goes, I think Ty Roseman's going to go. Or at least, at the very least, get some of his power stripped away in terms of personnel. Uh, I, I just do. And as far as Isaiah Rodgers, man, 
I think he's a huge upgrade for us already. So our secondary, just by having him come back from suspension, is greatly improved. Now, you got to get rid of uh, Trashberry. And then, of course, you know, we'll see what they do with Darius Slay. I have a feeling Slay stays, Trashberry goes. Uh, you're going to need safeties. You're going to need linebackers. You're going to need possibly another right guard you're gonna need a running back i mean they got a lot of work to do how he knows how he knows uh i i love when howie roseman is in the backed into a corner when he's backed into a corner the way he is right now he usually has a, a very active very aggressive all season and it usually results in two wins for us so isaiah rogers Totally a great upgrade for the Eagles. He's better than Avante Maddox, in my opinion. Avante Maddox could be a guy on the move. He could definitely be a guy they look to trade. But, you know, all the A.J. Brown talk, all the Jalen Hurts talk, all that stuff is just all nonsense. Let the Cowboy fans, let them fight over their nonsense. They, they're ready to run out Dak Prescott. They're ready to run out Micah Parsons. I love it. Future Eagle Micah Parsons you know he's looking at himself saying, I love that eagle green. I love that eagle green. And speaking of, uh, of, of, of eagle green and throwbacks, I love Isaiah Rogers already. I already love him because of the white helmet. Did you see the white helmet he's wearing on, on, on uh, Twitter just practicing and stuff? Man, some people are saying to me, Philly, what does he know? Is the white helmet coming back? I can only wish. Now, I predicted two years ago that this would be the year that the Eagles are going to update their main jerseys. I stand by that. I think at some point they will update their jerseys. But I love the white helmet, and I would personally bring it back. Um, we still got a lot of things to do. We, we're seeing linebacker coaches. They're, they're obviously, I mean, they're, they're interviewing def former defensive coordinators for linebacking coach positions, okay? You, you can already see by the defensive coordinator and then by the the coaches that they're looking to hire, like guy like Mike Caldwell, who was a defensive coordinator with the Jaguars last year, they're they're already they've already decided to invest in the linebacker. It, it's coming. You're going to see some big moves. Patrick Queen, maybe they draft the line. I don't know. I don't know. You know, um, we, we'll we'll get into all the names and everything like that once we kind of figure out what we got in terms of our coaching staff, but. It's going to be it's going to be fascinating, and I expect linebacker to be a big, shocking move. I I wouldn't be surprised, you know. You see the Eagles of free agency, Brian Burns, boom, you know, big type landing. They need another pass rusher, and then I wouldn't be surprised if they draft linebacker uh, much earlier earlier than they used to do that, or even go after a guy like Patrick Queen. I think they're going to. Um, and, and like I said, it, it, it all is because Howie Roseman is backed into a corner. And anybody that thinks that he's not backed into a corner, um, I, I, I don't know what you're looking at. Because you can't only, f how many coaches can you keep hiring? You had Chip Dip Kelly. You had uh, Doug Peterson. You now have Nick Sirianni. Uh, Nick Sirianni starts like 2-4. and four. He's gone. He's gone. Um, yeah, no, this is all on Howie. Howie has more power now because of because they kept Nick Sariani than he did a year ago. That means he has more responsibility. Get ready for a crazy act of all season. And I'm going to be putting on like two, three videos a day. It's going to be a real mother humper. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's Howie Vision. We're all just living in it. <laughs>so so here is what i said about the jerseys right i said that the first year they changed the word mark then they came back with the eagles kelly green now i think this is the year we see a revamped re-updated um you know re-updated uniform i think i think we're going to get a new home a new away i'm not saying it's kelly green it could be midnight green but i think they're going to i think they're going to change things up what i like to see like to see the green helmets at home, white helmets away, and then, you know, the black helmets as your alternate. Preferably Kelly Green, but it is what it is. Denzel Washington out.